Hello, I'm your friendly neighborhood, Luis Perez. Now, finally, with X-Men Apocalypse coming out, it's the final film in the First Class Trilogy. And by the trilogy, I mean First Class, Days of Future Past, which was technically like the fourth X-Men movie when it came to the original X-Men movies, but technically the second movie for the first, yeah, it's confusing, I tell ya. And with and X-Men Apocalypse being the third and final film in the First Class Trilogy. It, whether or not it's the final one, it's highly unknown, but it most likely will be. So you know the old cast isn't planning on returning anytime soon. But anyway, why am I bringing up the X-Men Apocalypse? Well, because fairly recently, in fact, a few weeks ago, yeah, I'm kind of late with this one, Brian Singer revealed revealed a newer, the newest character for the X-Men Apocalypse. That is the return of Nightcrawler. About time, Brian Singer. Gee, when was the last time we ever saw a Nightcrawler in these movies? Like X-Men 2? Whatever happened to the guy? I know they explained it in the game, but still. But still, it is great to see Nightcrawler back in the X-Men films. It was about bloody time. And seeing him in a younger and I would like to see him in a younger state because I grew up with X-Men Evolution, so therefore I grew up with the younger Nightcrawler. Still love the older ones, though. Still, I am interested to see how they treat Nightcrawler in this new timeline. Who knows, maybe in, new, in this new timeline, he's actually the, the son of Mystique, like in the comics. Hey, who knows, new timeline, it's highly possible. But still, but still, I am just very glad to see Nightcrawler back. He looks pretty awesome. No, well, the fingers do some work. But I can't just give him gloves. And I'm just so happy to see him back. You know, it was a shame that, that Zazel had to be killed the way he was, because we really would have liked a father and son dynamic. Dyma dynamic. Who well, knows, baby? Him and Mystique had a little thing. Wink, wink. But then again, how would that work? Considering he's. Well, then again, he was she was really shocked to find him dead, so who knows? Maybe they did have a thing in the. I mean, they did have a thing in the first class. Yeah, highly possible. But anyway. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about Nightcrawler. What will be his role in the film? Well, maybe maybe they'll focus more on his dynamic with not only the new team, the younger Cyclops, Jean, and Jubilee. But then again, this is the first time she really had a role in these movies. And maybe we can finally get to see an actual... Daughter, a uh, daughter, really? I have to say that. I'm thinking of Rogue now. A, a a mother and son dynamic between him and Mystique. Because in the comics, he was the, the son of Mystique. So it will be interesting to see them along with Quicksilver and Magneto. Seeing that Quicksilver is basically confirmed for this film. I figure why will they introduce him in, in the past if they're not going to bring him back? It's kind of a thing. Who knows? They might do the Nightcrawl. They might, they might do the Nightcrawl approach. But anyway, I'm glad to see Nightcrawler back. Great to see him back in these new films. I hope that they give him a lot more to do than they did in X-Men 2. Don't worry, don't get me wrong. I love what they did to him in X-Men 2. I just I hope they give him a bit more character. But hey, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Comment down below. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm your friend, Neville Lewis Perez, and I'll see you next time. And no, if you're expecting me to teleport, don't. I may have the powers to shrink, but I do not have teleportation. I, I'm only a human being. I am not a god. See you later, guys.